this is Esther and I am so delighted to be in the garden with you today for the Flower Channel and uh, first we're going to be making some amazing arrangements out of this spectacular Spirea extravaganza that's happening in this yard and um, I'm gonna be using two different tools. So I have this like long lopper, which is gonna help me to get some of these long pieces. And then I have my little clippers too, which I, I might be needing, I don't know. Well, you wanna have all your tools available in case, in case you need them. So when you're cutting any kind of a woody plant material, we are gonna go inside right after I cut them. But if you're not gonna go inside, like if you're out somewhere else and you have like a half hour before you get home, you want to make sure you have a bucket in the car or truck or, or whatever you're driving <laughs> electric bike <laughs> but for but for today we don't need the bucket because we're heading right inside so when you're trimming an outdoor bush you want to trim it so that you can't really tell that you removed anything so you don't want to cut it like way up here because you'll see this big branch you know bare branch sticking out so i'm going to go way down low and then I have a nice long piece like this. And that gives me the option of using it shorter or longer. But you know, once you cut something, you can't make it any longer. That's just physics. <laughs> and I'm just gonna lay them on the ground here and just keep trimming. And, and it's gonna also give this um, bush, you know, which has a lot of kind of stragglers sticking out, it's gonna tidy up the bush as well. And we know that trimming outdoor plants encourages growth for the next year. So you don't want to ever feel bad for bringing in a beautiful bunch of flowers to enjoy because you're also taking care of the plant and helping it to grow more for the next year. This is a really long one. That's beautiful. We're going to have a, many small arrangements we would be able to make off this one branch. And um, I'm going to cut quite a bit today because I have many vases that I would like to fill with these beautiful flowers. This spirea, it's called Bridal Veil Spirea, has a lovely scent. Very, very mild. So even for people who, you know, are uncomfortable with having scented flowers in the house, because some people are for allergies and whatnot, these are very subtle. These might actually not, not be a problem. And of course, for those of us who just love beauty, yeah, well, what can I say? <laughs> Perfection. Um, let's get some of these big ones back in here. And you can see already it's kind of made a nice, kind of helped the, the bush look a little more. Um, just cleaned up a little bit. Tidied up. And you know, these, this spirea blooms for about two weeks, you, sometimes in May. Right now it's early June because we had a late spring here. And just like with any garden flower, you want to enjoy it when it's happening. <laughs> so if you are fortunate enough to have some flowering bushes in your backyard when they're blooming, definitely want to take them in and appreciate them, make some arrangements with them. Okay, get some of these bigger ones. And then we'll head inside and see what gorgeousness we can create. Flowers, okay. And this one clearly wants to go in. All right, we have beautiful. I didn't need to use my little Felco clippers. I'll be using those inside for the arranging. Okay, wow. <laughs> like, so wow. How beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's put them in some vases and see, see what kind of indoor beauty we can create. 